All right, now Gemini Live introduced by Google recently is pretty cool. We can do back and forth live conversations using this feature on the virtual assistant. Likewise, we do have live conversation feature on ChatGPT from OpenAI. In this video, let's do some conversation with these assistants and see how they look, how they work. Let's do a quick comparison. This is the Galaxy S24 Ultra on which I have got the Gemini and uh, I have also subscribed for Gemini Advanced. I'm currently on the trial period for a month. So to use Gemini Live on your Galaxy phone, or any other Android phone, you need to subscribe to Gemini Advanced. However, on ChatGPT, the live conversation is currently free. I have not subscribed for the GPT 4.0 version, but even then I have got the live conversation free on the ChatGPT application. Now maybe on the uh, GPT 4, this feature will work better, but for some basic comparison, this should do. So the first difference is we need to subscribe to Gemini Advanced to activate Gemini Live on your phone, but on ChatGPT for time being at least, the live conversation is free. Now let's activate Gemini Live on this phone here. You see we've got the live button right here. We need to tap on this to activate Gemini Live. Now here on this phone, let me open chat GPT. I'll have to hit the icon here. You see we have got this headphone icon right here at the bottom right corner. By tapping on this, we can activate the live conversation. Let me tap on this. Hey, I'm ready to hit the ground running. So if there's anything you'd like me to focus on first, just let me know. Now just ignore this uh, you know, mark here. This is a physical damage on this phone, so just ignore that. Now we've got four different voice options here. Even on Gemini, we've got voice options which we have already seen in my previous video. Now let me show you a couple of more options here. Hi there, I just wanna share how thrilled I am to work with you and I can't wait to get started. Hey there, I've got a really great feeling about us teaming up. How can I jump in and help? Hey, it's great to meet you. How's your day going? I'm really looking forward to working on some cool stuff together. So four different voice options we have. I'll tap on, maybe I'll select hey, the first one I'm ready to hit the ground and run. tap on confirm. So now let me activate Gemini Live here. I'll just hold this for a second. You see, we have got this cool animation going on here and here we have got this big circle. Now let me just pause this over here. So we have got pause and continue button here at the bottom and we have the same uh, button here as well on chat GPT and we have got end button right here. Now let's ask a few questions and see how they respond. Hey, hi. Hey there. Hey, hi. Hey, how's it going? Now on Gemini. I'm kind of depressed due to my work pressure. Can you help? I can definitely help. Work pressure can be really tough and it's okay to not feel okay sometimes. Is there anything specific that's stressing you out right now? Oh, and just a reminder, I don't provide medical advice or diagnoses. You should always talk to a medical professional. Uh, nothing specific, uh, too much of workload and uh, not a good ambience at work. Feeling overwhelmed is totally understandable, especially if your workload's piling up. And a negative vibe at work doesn't make things any easier. Hey, would you be open to sharing a bit more about what's on your plate? Sometimes, just talking it out can help lighten the load. Okay, now let's go ahead and ask the same question here. I'm kind of depressed due to my work pressure. Can you help me? I'm really sorry to hear that you're feeling this way. Work pressure can be overwhelming sometimes. Do you wanna talk about what's been stressing you out or maybe explore some ways to manage the pressure? Nothing specific, uh, too much of workload and the ambience is not that good. That sounds really tough. When the workload is high and the environment isn't supportive, it can make everything feel heavier. Sometimes even small steps can help lighten the load, like taking short breaks, prioritizing tasks, or finding a way to decompress after work. Do you have any activities or routines that usually help you unwind? Okay, now I felt that the Gemini is still trying to find the reasons for my depression, uh, whereas on the chat GPT, it immediately uh, told me to do a few things and then it is trying to ask me a few more questions here. Let me know what do you think about this response, drop a comment. Now let's quickly ask them to continue the conversation. Let's see what they say. Yes, continue the conversation, please. All right, let's talk about it. What kind of projects or tasks are you dealing with? 
Yes, we are still there. Uh, it is continuing the conversation. Let's do that here. Okay, let's go ahead and continue this conversation. Sure, I'm here for you. When work feels overwhelming, it's easy to get stuck in that cycle. Have you noticed if there's anything specific about the environment or the workload that's been particularly draining? Or maybe how it's affecting you outside of work? My sales targets have not been met yet and I'm almost at the end of the month. That's rough. Missing a sales target can definitely be stressful. So, do you know why you're falling short? Is it that you're not closing enough deals or are the deals themselves too small? I have not met my sales targets yet. It's almost the end of the month. That's the issue. I can see how that would be stressful, especially with the month coming to an end. It's hard when you're doing your best, but the results aren't where you want them to be. Have you had a chance to analyze what's been holding you back? Maybe we can brainstorm some strategies together to help you finish the month strong. Now, these are the kind of responses we are getting on this. You let me know what do you think about this in the comments section. Let's move to the next question. Can you help me prepare for my job interview? The profile would be selling real estate. Absolutely. Selling real estate can be a really rewarding career, but it definitely has its challenges. To start, what kind of real estate are you looking to sell? Residential, commercial, or something else? Residential. All right, residential real estate. Well, there are a few things that are key to success in that field. First, you've got to really know your market. That means understanding things like average home prices in different neighborhoods, what buyers are looking for in a home, and even what interest rates are doing. Second, it's all about building relationships. The more people you know, the better chance you have of getting leads and referrals. Okay, is that it? Nope, there's more. You'll also want to get really good at sales and negotiation. Selling a home isn't just about showing houses. It's about convincing people to part with a ton of money. You'll need to be able to answer their questions, address their concerns, and guide them through the whole buying process. You also mentioned your current job is stressing you out. How about this? Let's brainstorm some ways to manage that work stress while you get ready to tackle this new opportunity. Okay, now this is pretty cool. While it is suggesting me to prepare for my uh, job interview, it also brought up the previous uh, topic which I was discussing with Gemini, that is the work stress, and uh, it is willing to help me with that as well at the same time. Now let's ask the same question here. Can you help me prepare for my job interview? The profile would be selling real estate. I'd be happy to help you prepare. Real estate sales interviews often focus on your sales experience, understanding of the market, and ability to build relationships. Do you want to practice answering common interview questions or focus on a specific area like handling objections or discussing your sales strategies? You can cover all of that. Great. Let's start with some common interview questions for real estate sales roles. One. Can you tell me about your previous sales experience? This is where you highlight your successes and how they relate to real estate. Focus on any experience you have with client interactions, negotiations, and closing deals. Two, how do you stay informed about the real estate market? Employers want to know you keep up with market trends. You can mention reading industry publications, attending seminars, or using market analysis tools. Three, how do you handle rejection or difficult clients? Explain how you stay positive and professional, using examples of how you've managed tough situations in the past. Four, what strategies do you use to generate new leads? Share any techniques you use to find and attract potential buyers or sellers, such as networking, social media, or referrals. Five, how do you prioritize and manage your tasks? Since real estate can be fast paced, they'll want to know how you stay organized and ensure you're meeting your targets. Do any of these questions stand out to you? Or is there another area you'd like to focus on? This is perfect. Now this is the response what I was looking for. I am actually preparing for my job interview and this response was a little better I would say. 
It told me the expected questions from the interviewer and how I need to respond. So that is something which I was looking for. Now both have got its own advantages and disadvantages. I started to feel that chat GPT uh, conversation is more precise to my questions. However, I'm not saying that Gemini is bad. It is trying to understand what exactly I am uh, looking for and then it responds. But here, the moment you ask the question, it is willing to answer those precise answers without asking too many questions to you. That's what I felt. You let me know what you think. Now let's ask another question here. Which is the biggest monument in the world? The Statue of Unity in India is the tallest statue in the world. It stands at a whopping 182 meters, 597 feet tall and depicts Sardar Vallabhai Patel, an important figure in India's independence movement. Which is the biggest monument in the world? The Great Wall of China is often considered the largest monument in the world. It's an extensive structure stretching over 13,000 miles. Its sheer length and historical significance make it stand out globally. Okay, now we've got two different answers here. When I asked biggest monument in the world, Gemini considered the height and uh, looks like a chat GPT considered how large the monument is. Which is the tallest building in the world? The Burj Khalifa in Dubai is the tallest building in the world. It's a staggering 828 meters tall or 2,717 feet. Which is the tallest building in the world? As of now, the tallest building in the world is the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. It stands at about 2,700 feet tall, which is over 800 meters. Its height is truly impressive. Now here we got the same answers. Uh, however, in the previous question, perhaps uh, these two uh, assistants interpreted uh, the word biggest in different ways. Now let's try to interrupt the conversation and see how it works. Which is the fastest car in the world? The fastest car in the world right now is the Koenigsegg Jesko okay, stop. Absolute. Okay, stop. Stop. It's a sure thing. What can I do for you? You see, when I say stop, it will stop the conversation. Of course, it'll take a couple of seconds to uh, grab what I'm saying and then it stops the conversation. Now let's try that on ChatGPT. Which is the fastest car in the world? Fastest car in the world is the Bugatti Chiron okay, stop, Supersport 300 Plus. Stop. It can reach stop, speeds of over 275 stop. miles per hour. That's incredibly fast for a production car. Okay, so we do not have this feature here. Uh, we can't really pause or uh, stop the conversation or interrupt the conversation while we are uh, conversating with uh, ChatGPT. So that is something to note. It's always an advantage on Gemini to have human-like conversation. We can always interrupt uh, without pressing any button and uh, continue the conversation. Whereas on ChatGPT, we will have to press the pause button or stop button to interrupt that conversation. Now check this out. While conversating with ChatGPT, we can actually press and hold on the circle here so that we can recollect our thoughts and uh, continue what we are saying. Let me show you how it works. Hey, I was trying to go to this place called... You see, I can just hold this and then I can release to continue. Brigade Road, uh, can you tell me how good it is? It sounds like you're trying to describe something, but I'm not quite sure what you mean. Could you give me a bit more detail? I'm trying to locate this place called... Okay, now I'll have to hold it like this and then start continue, uh, then continue the conversation. I'm trying to go to this place called Brigade Road. Can you uh, help me how good it is? Brigade Road in Bangalore is quite popular. It's a bustling street known for its shopping, dining, and... An That's how it works. And when I close this conversation, of course, we've got all that conversation we had here in the text form, which is there available on this Gemini as well. Now let me try to hold a conversation. Let's see if we have got this option here or not. Hey, I wanted to go to this place called Brigade Road. Can you tell me how... 
So I can't really hold anywhere here. I'll have to pause it. I can't really recollect my thought and uh, continue conversation with uh, Gemini Live, whereas I can do this on ChatGPT. Now let me end this conversation. You see, we have got everything available here as well in text format. Just in case if you want to jump back and check out all your conversation, you can do that right here on Gemini Live as well. Now, one big advantage on Gemini Live is it will fetch the uh, updated information from web, whereas ChatGPT will not be able to fetch the updated information like Gemini does, maybe because it has to rely on the uh, their own internal data, which they have, whereas Google has been there uh, since decades uh, with all the data. So they should be able to fetch the updated information quickly and easily compared to ChatGPT. Now, as far as the languages are concerned, approximately 40 languages is supported on uh, Gemini Live. Whereas on ChatGPT, we have got more than 80 languages, uh, which is currently available. Now, the next important question is whether this live conversation works in the background if the phone is locked. Yes, that works on Gemini Live, but on ChatGPT, it doesn't work. Let me show you how. Let's start a conversation here. Hey, how is the weather today? There will be scattered thunderstorms with a high of 26 and a low of 20. You see, I've locked the phone. Currently it still works. 20. Okay, uh, tell me the uh, weather conditions for the next 10 days. So, I can't show you the weather forecast for the next 10 days right now, but I can tell you what it looks like. Overall, it's looking okay, stop. like a pretty typical rainy season. All right, let's change the subject. What do you want to talk no, about? No, stop. That's all I wanted to know. Right. Thank you. Okay, I understand. Is there anything else you'd like to talk about, or can I help you with something different? No, thanks. All right. Well, I hope your day gets better. Feel free to reach out if you change your mind. So that's how it works when the phone is locked. Let's try this here. Sorry, but I can't help with that. As a safe AI assistant, it looks like it is still is active still here. Yes. I can still hear you. But okay, a safe okay, AI stop. Uh, you can close yourself. You can shut down. All right. Ending conversation. That's how we end the conversation here on Gemini, even when the phone is locked. Now let's do this here. Okay, I understand. Oh my God, it is still working. <laughs> I don't know why it's still live. Uh, maybe I'll have to go here and... Uh, Stop this. Yes, it's still live. It did not shut uh, down itself. Let me just end this. Now let's try this here. How is the weather? Is there something specific you want to know about Brigade? It's not going to work in the background. So that's a big advantage we have got on Gemini Live here. Now, these are some important differences we have on ChatGPT uh, Live and Gemini Live. You guys let me know what do you think about this feature. Now, like I mentioned, the ChatGPT is still on the free version that I'm using. It is not ChatGPT 4.0. Maybe on 4.0, uh, the responses will be much better. I'm not very sure about it. Now, if you want to subscribe to this ChatGPT 4, it is going to cost you as same as the Gemini Advanced. Gemini Advanced costs about 1950 uh, Indian rupees, which is somewhere around 20 US dollars. Uh, whereas this ChatGPT 4.0 will also cost you the same but currently the live conversation is free on chat gpt uh, without subscribing you can uh, activate it whereas gemini advanced only will offer you the live conversation that's something which i wanted to mention here that's all i have got here you guys let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section and be sure to subscribe to the channel more than 80 percent of you guys who watch my contents have not subscribed yet go ahead subscribe that will support me to come up with some useful contents for you guys and hit that like button if you find this video informative and yeah if you're interested in these wallpapers i've left the links for these two wallpapers in the description go ahead and download them thanks for watching my name is sally i'm signing off cheers bye bye